Okay, here we go with another dual commentary match. And uh, what do I play on the first move? Yeah, do I play e5? Let's see what. Uh, ah, the king's gambit. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and g5. Supposed to be. Um, aha. Yeah, now I can play g4 and uh, win a piece, but I want to um, play a little bit more solid. c3 looks a bit strange here. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I can win the piece now after all with g4. Cannot move the knight really. Yeah, it shouldn't be enough, but uh, let's play solid. <laughs> Maybe this will just transpose. Oh no, it doesn't transpose. Okay, yeah, this kind of position you will only oh, you can only get any king's game. It really uh, really weird but um, this this whole setup is a bit strange with bishop d3 and um, c3 maybe it's an idea to is this possible not sure but it looks logical to get some play in the center it's somewhat weakening maybe but um, Okay. The knight c six maybe. Trying to get the square e five. If he plays d five. finish development somehow knight c3 can I play queen b6 just being greedy cannot play d5 yeah and b2 is also hanging Messy position, of course, as usual, but um, objectively, I cannot believe any of this. Hmm. I just want to take d4. I don't see um, how he could cover that. And I often um, would also ex exchange even more. For instance, if he castles, I take d4 with the bishop and will exchange off lots of stuff, even the queens. I think um, maybe queen b6 would have been even stronger if I would have played this instead of knight g7. Okay, um, I take now on d4, let's say with a bishop, he might have knight a4. But I can take e3 then, no problem. Okay, then what's, what's, what can, yeah, then, then I just take it, don't see any, 
any problem with this. And uh, now we'll also exchange queen, I think. Yeah. Okay. Of course, d6 is, um, is uh, sure to fall. But I hope this um, isn't a big deal. Just rook d8, exchange one rook. At the end, um, each, all end games should just win because of the pawn on f3. Yeah, okay, if I just take king d7, knight b7. Hmm. Could be a bit annoying, but okay, knight c7 is also a threat. I could, well, I could castle, just, just simple. Not sure if I want to. What if I just play... Hmm, knight g6. Okay, I need to play quicker. Down to one minute again. Yeah, just uh, want to go to e5. Take on e6, doesn't matter much. Would even help me to get um, get rid of uh, the knight. Okay, let's exchange somewhat more. Okay. Looks like an inconvenient pin. Well, and now. Okay. Yeah, it's not um, not that easy to win. At least with uh, twenty seconds on the clock. Okay, this is, I don't know. Really a lot of extra pawns. <laughs> I 
yeah, didn't quite make it <laughs> time-wise. Was a tad, tad too slow. I don't know, what is it? One move or something? Yeah, I, I can just mate here. <laughs> okay, next game. Um, what do I play? Yeah, let's let's go D4 again. Yeah, some kind of Benoni. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's not be a total bore with C3 or something. <laughs> yeah, the check is um meant to uh, displace a piece okay this is a strange uh, piece configuration I want to um, avoid bishop g4 now Yeah, but this is very, very weakening. Let's see. Yeah, but I have F4 to um, to open this. <coughs> B5 is uh, no big issue. Multiple ways to play this. Okay, let's let's just bury the bishop here. Okay, see. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this one. Okay, the bishop on g7 is just completely dead and um, it just wins um, to open up the position. So b5 It's just a move I, I welcome. Okay, now he wants to maybe go for h5 even. Okay, let's play h4. So what now? h5 would be uh, possible make sure that the bishop never does anything again okay let's take this needs to take with the d pawn otherwise g5 is falling D takes e5, I have d6 though. It's uh, also very, very bad. Yeah, maybe this was the lesser evil even. Okay, I can take it simply. But um, it's a terrible weakness anyway. I try to get on the H file. This may be even stronger to make a, a direct attack out of this. Okay. If I take now he can play um, rook g8. Okay, I switch the, the knight over as well. Go to h5. Yeah, but I can also open up the queen side if he tries to hide there.
Yeah, I think the queen side is just uh, falling apart now. Okay, knight to d4. This is maybe the last um, try, but I can just play c3. Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's say queen e2, c3, queen c4, rook c8, hmm, hmm it's no direct win, but it's uh, very close. Yeah, now can play b7. <clears throat> On rook b8, I can capture. I cannot capture b7 because of queen c6 check. So this should be resigned, actually. Or oh, is there some trick? Don't see any. No, no, that's over. <clears throat> Cannot cover c6, and then bishop b6 even with mate. but maybe this is the easiest want to keep the the bishop Bring the rook over to a1. Simply <laughs> Yep. Yeah, F6 and G5 was just too too weakening and uh, completely killing the bishop. Yeah, thanks for for watching. Make sure to watch both videos on both channels and uh, make sure to subscribe if you like the videos. It's um, for free. You get informed about new videos.